integrity, who cares? One thing that I remember clearly when growing up is that telling a lie was a crime in the home. Mom would turn into an unrecognizable creature once she discovered that a lie had been told. It was just a no-no. It was about the need to be honest, tell the truth, and do the right thing. It was emphasized that it was part of character building, who people would identify you as in life going forward. In fact, one major warning was that liars are thieves. It was so emphatic that there was no room for compromise in, in, in its application. But this seems such a long time ago. When this was taught, it was part of instrumental to character building, integrity. There was a time this meant something. A vendor is given a sample to provide a number of items. An agreement and a timeline later, the day of the event arrives, and at that event, it is then realized that the vendor has not supplied what had been agreed upon. An employee sells items and declares to the employer an amount less than received. After all, now where person they work, you go chop. A civil servant sits on a file, does not attend to a file, or participates in the inflation of contract figures. A parent pays for the child's exam. A driver drives on the wrong side of the road, beats the traffic light, and insults you to capital. <laughs> or when you are asked to give an accurate account of something, you buckle and would rather compromise than to tell the truth or be just. I can go on and on, but I'm sure we get the point. The consequences of having a generation, a people, a tribe that have no gumption about being dishonest, no morals, or a low value system is a systematic breakdown of the fabric of society that could lead to anarchy. Wanted, a critical mass of people with integrity. Reward, a livable society. Where? Right here in Nigeria. Can you be counted on? to be a person of integrity when no one is watching, because that is when it counts the most. Wow. <laughs> when you say the liar is a thief and the thief is a liar, that yeah. was our mantra then in primary school. When, they, when yeah. you are caught lying, they will mm -hmm. tell you are a thief. Mm -hmm. If you keep lying, you end up being a thief. But mm -hmm. now you have white lie, mm -hmm. and you have thieves that mm -hmm. they claim they don't tell lie. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, exactly. So I, I think uh, we should also narrow it down to upbringing. You know, then when we are coming up, we have good parenting as at then, but right now you have uh, parents who, uh, who cares about making more money mm -hmm. and give their, their, their children to nannies, maids, and what have you, you know, and they accuse the school. You know, before the school even teach you this, you should have a basic home training that, that is a, a, kind, a kind of fear in you to know that if I can take this in school, I can't take this at home. So integrity starts from home, and I think we should question that process back. Because right now you can see a lot of diversity outside there, and you can see a lot of children. If you look at people who are doing courtesy, uh, adults and stuff like that, they are well-to-do children. They are from well-to-do homes, and you begin to imagine where those things go wrong. I so, I so, you know, when I was writing this piece on integrity, honestly, it was just, I just realized that uh, there was a time when if you said, I'm going to be here at so, so, so time, you know, nobody had to think about it. They knew you would be because your word was your bond. You know, they, they, you didn't have to, to swear, put your hand here, you know, or, or do like this in the <laughs> air, you know, you know, all that thing that you, you, you know. It doesn't work. It, 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 no, but it's so sad that sure. every single facet of everything we do in our society is tainted with dishonesty. You, you. I mean, and I, I mean, I don't want to talk about what happened at the bar association, but honestly, it was Pathetic. because it, it was it was a deficiency of trust that led to that because mm. people just didn't believe that what was said was going to happen. But if, uh, mm -hmm. about that, mm. I'm going to say something. <laughs> we we should not look at integrity alone as uh, someone telling lies or someone mm -hmm. not delivering. Mm -hmm. When you don't live up to expectation, mm -hmm. you lack integrity. That's it. Now. That's mm -hmm. I was very disappointed. That's Here we are. You know, when they started the Nigerian Bar Association, everybody that came on board to speak, they said, oh, they are speaking to one, they are one of the, the finest minds in Nigeria. I got jealous because I was not a lawyer, but mm -hmm. I believe I was a fine mind myself. Mm -hmm. Like, why are they referring to lawyers as finest minds? Mm -hmm. They all of a sudden, mm -hmm. some lawyers acted as though they were doubts. 
So that's why I say those people are not lawyers. They're not living up to expectation. And it's, it's such a shame. No, and I agree. I, we're we're not shame. disagreeing with you there, right? Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that what now led to it? Because if we had been living as people with integrity and that when, the, you know, the president came and said, this is what has happened and we are going to get the facts, should there have been an outburst? No. Exactly. So people were, so you look at it now, you know, why were, were people doing it just to, let me grab my own because I don't believe what they're saying. Too wrong. Exactly. So, say. so when, when, when he's done it properly. Exactly. So where the question now comes from is, we don't have a collective goal. We have individual goals. Exactly. Correct. So the same thing goes to your candidacy. You don't have candidacy that has a collective goal, truth be told. You see, they're talking about person. They are not talking about what the society wants, yeah. what they're doing for the society. Yeah. So in, in such cases when people are trying to, you know, uh, um, protect their own interest, protect what they think is right, not listen, their integrity will be at stake. There is no true way to it. Because you cannot be a man, a, a, a tree cannot make a forest. Mm -hmm. sure. So how do we get back now to even, you know, as you said, the, the, I mean, that was such a powerful, such a powerful lesson in the home. A lie, the, it, there, it was, there was zero tolerance to it. But now we live it, we live it, we embrace it. And um, we went to the grounds today and we, we needed to park our car. So these um, traders had blocked a, a parking space, walked up to them very nicely. They wanted to, you know, give us way. Immediately, this security guard just comes up and says, no, 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 I have spoken to them. I, I had already told them that I was going to get a, a car in there. Uh, so the two of them, the, the husband and wife that had moved for us, were looking in shock like, ah. Uh, but you did not, you know, they didn't <laughs> say it, but you could see on their face. And at that point, it was an issue of integrity. Wow. Should they agree with him because he looked, he was in uniform and we were visitors? Or should they actually open up and say, but you didn't speak to us. And, and I was <laughs> impressed <laughs> because you could see with the fear in them and the, the, the assumption and all that they said, you didn't speak to us. Wow. I mean, I was impressed. These are people That's who cool. you wouldn't, you know, you, they're struggling for their daily living. But I was impressed to see that, you know, speak they the could truth. actually speak the truth. And I, and mm. I hope that, you know, we will, what will, I, I hope we will get back to and that. And the God, the also Rick's being kicked out when you guys leave. <laughs> it's just, just to tell you that integrity, we have people that are, we have Nigerians that have high level of integrity. They're out there. Unfortunately, what you see, you know, the, the negatives grows very fast. And let me remind we fellow us. Nigerians, this from now to 2023, the whole world is watching us in their public lens of scrutiny. You know why? We are preparing for election. Mm. Kenya has done theirs. Mm. This is us. Mm. So this is an opportunity for us to tell the world that Nigeria, we can do better. They should not see us as just Nigerians, yeah. corruption. They you know the narratives. Us, uh, yeah, worry, let's, or, let's do better. Or, or should help us. <laughs> let's do or better. Started, let's do uh, better. Uh, as Nigerians. <laughs> so. Let's do better. We thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hope our conversations resonated with you. Little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms. On Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hash, The Advocate NG, and on Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hash, The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.